This year hasn't really got off to the start I was expecting, but more about that later. This particular day was beautiful and frosty and I decided to take a walk along to East Head. So often we have something on our doorstep that we take for granted and hardly visit with the busyness of life. It's important to take moments to be quiet and enjoy the beauty around us or nearby. This walk was just what I needed. I discovered parts I hadn't been to before and began to feel inspired to create again. Sometimes if we feel stuck, the best thing we can do is just stop and take time in nature and very soon those creative juices will start to flow again. This year I started by doing the arduous task of my tax information. I wouldn't recommend as an artist leaving it this late and much preferred getting it done in the summer months, which I did for a number of years, maybe on the bad weather days though. But leaving it till the end of January is not to be recommended. I then went on to do a commission that I had, but in the middle of everything my mother broke her hip. So things can change very rapidly and we have to adapt and be there for the benefit of others that need us. The good thing about being self-employed is that we are more flexible, but we need to also make sure that we have that mixture of flexibility and discipline. I was listening um, to Art Juice today and Louise was discussing how plans can go awry and how it can be frustrating, but maybe it's time to focus on that person or that, that situation that needs our attention instead of stressing out about what we should be doing all the time and what we should be doing to be a successful artist. And when you let go and just focus on what you know you need to at that time, can just help you to breathe and take the pressure off instead of striving. I decided to also start being a little bit creative in the midst of everything and doing something small, making myself sit down and do it instead of procrastinating which is a common problem.
I also went to visit somewhere a bit further afield where creatives sell their wares. It also has some other interesting businesses, including a lovely antique store, a farm shop and a lovely cafe, of course. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into my life as a creative in January. If you'd like to see more, I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment below. I also have links to places that I've been and the classes that I do on Skillshare. You can also visit my website where I do sell my original paintings, prints and cards. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.